I did, I hit the play button. So what are we doing? We're getting chased by what? Storm. Storm. <laughs> Being chased by, we got that big thing in here. We've only got a few miles to go, maybe you are. Oh my god, miles. oh my god. Oh. Holy shit, oh it's coming, it's coming. Oh. <laughs> we want to get to the end of the rumble. No! Before that. That's it, you're right. This is, you right. Be this okay. is right here. Oh, baby, be careful. Yeah, be careful with the brakes because that, that thing's going to want to push. And the ground is slippery. It's the most slippery when it's just getting wet because of the oils that are on the road. Now we can boogie. They will 
will be dead. It will be dead. And somebody said, why do you drive with the spikes down like that? Like, because I don't care if I impale stupid people. If you're willing to get out in front of me, I guess you're willing to die. Oh, you feel that? Yep. I didn't like that. I didn't like that either. It was not nice. <laughs> no. But don't do that again. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It started to do the wiggle. I did not like the wiggle. Oh yeah, now it's going to rain all the way home. Ay, ay, ay.
I, I have a regret about that that kid's death. He was my friend. We used to sit next to each other in gym class. Ooh. And I liked Chris. He was a really good guy. Yeah. Really good guy. He was goofy, tall, but slightly overweight. Yeah. But he knew martial arts. He knew karate. Nice. And he was not somebody... He, you wouldn't even know it. Right. But he's not somebody that you would want to fuck with. He was somebody that... If you picked on him, he was, please don't pick on me. Please don't pick on me. Yeah. I really don't want to, I don't want to fight you, you know? All right. And just very pleased. You know, he would plead with you. And I never picked on him, but there was a kid that picked on him. And he, he was taller than me. I'm six foot. And he's taller than me. And he took his foot and raised that thing up and did a, he didn't touch, never touched him. Put that foot like really quick right up to the kid's ear uh -huh. and then again to his nose and never touched him. And that was pretty much the end of that conversation. That's cool. He says, please, I don't want to fight you. I'll never forget it as long as I live. And he was such a nice guy. Uh, and uh, anyways, it was three days before we graduated high school. He was the number one in the class. Oh, wow. And he, and he died before. And because of motorcycle. Yeah, he was racing. It was sanctioned race. It was on a track. Oh. Uh, his dad would take him all over the country racing. They would get in the car on a Friday night and drive to Ohio, drive to Illinois, come back by Monday, you know? Wow. Yeah. They would do that, race. And, and it was just the thing that they did. And, you know, it's sad. I feel bad for his family because he was a really bright guy. But anyway. And he was liked by everybody. He had, he was super intelligent, um, but he liked to listen to metal, you know? He was, he was, yeah, I mean, Slayer and Metallica and all this stuff, and we were into that crap, too, uh, back then, and uh, well, probably my first couple of years of high school. By the time I was a senior, I probably just pretty much decided that that was not the type of music that I was gonna listen to for the rest of my life. And I actually don't listen to any music anymore. Yeah, you do sometimes. It's very rarely. Older stuff. I don't like the new stuff. I guess I'm a classic old fart now. Yeah. But this is where Timmy Cornpicker lives, right here on the left. That's his house. Timmy Cornpicker, got a debut, man. Here's his corn. He has some wind damage from the hurricane as well. Okay, about here, in there, there's some wind damage that fell over. Oh. Timmy corn picker, everyone. Right there. Right I there. Saw it. Yep, that's where it went down. Where are they opening in these field good? And Tim was raised, that was his grandparents' place, but Tim was raised here. This is where his mom and dad live. And, uh, yeah. Tim's another one that, he's got a German temper. <laughs> He's a very mild-mannered guy, but uh, I think if you pissed him off, you'd have a, you'd have your hands full. Oh yeah. I think so. I like Tim. He's good. He's another good guy, you know. Honest. Doesn't want to hurt anybody. Doesn't want to be hurt by anybody. Doesn't bother anybody. Just does his thing. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, he does farming the way he wants to. He doesn't read a book and say, oh, this is how I push my yield to 350 bushels, or this is this. No, this is my this is my market. This is what I need. This is the ground I have, and this is what I have to work with. And he does what he does. And uh, I respect him for that. I think that's great. He's got conviction. Now, uh, there's some people in the township. <coughs> well, we won't say names, right? And uh, he doesn't, they don't, they don't like him. They think he's a they think he's a doofus. Unfortunately, Tim is very educated. Very educated. I think he's got a degree in oh, I know he's got a degree in English. And uh, he could be a teacher, and I think he also has something to do with metal. Oh. Metallurgy or whatever. I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm sure he'll watch this and be like, Wesley, I have an, a degree in this and this and that and the other thing. I just chose the simple life. And that's what he's done. Which, again, I admire him for it. Somebody's writing your ass. Well, they are. That's right. Oh. Well, clear skies are back there. See? Them? Yeah. Where we came from. Now it's just chasing us. Oh, well, we're in it. It's yeah. going to pass us. It's our luck. <laughs> Once upon a time, me and Dad were
were uh, coming back from Wisconsin with a horse-drawn carriage that we had bought up in Menominee. Up in Menominee, was, was it Menominee? Menominee, Wisconsin. There's a bunch of uh, Amish out there. We spent the night in the Wisconsin Dells and uh, up to Menominee. And then from there we went no, Menominee was... Ooh. ooh, baby, be careful. No, that was just the four-wheel drive kicking in and out, that's all. Um, yeah, anyways, on the way back. Anyways, there was a storm, and we were chasing the storm. So we had this carriage, which we didn't have a tarp for because we weren't supposed to have rain. So we would drive down the interstate until we would start seeing wind drops on the window, and then we would pull over wait a half an hour and then drive until we oh, got wow. and we did we did that all the way across indiana indiana and then when we went into ohio we picked up a dog they had my mom and dad had bought a dog in columbus ohio it was the weirdest thing i had never seen a town square until that point in my life i mean a literal town square with a little rotunda in the middle and this guy, you went around the rotunda and down by these shops and his house was in this town square. Ah. And in the, you know, we're like, we pull in there with this carriage and it's an old man, probably long since dead. I was 17 when we did this. And uh, we pull up in this square and we get out of the truck it was a 1988 Chevy pickup truck, 2500 two-wheel drive Cheyenne, and that was my grandmother's truck. She bought it. She paid twelve thousand three hundred dollars for it, brand new, back in 1988. Anyway, uh, we go into this house, and it was very narrow in there. The house was a uh, do. It was up and down. It had. It was. It was a two-story row house, which was just divided by brick wall. Anyways, in there on the wall, and he cooked this breakfast. I hate runny eggs, but my dad says just eat them, you'll be fine. You know, so he cooked runny eggs, and I sopped them up with the just like I hate runny eggs. I mean, it's raw egg yolk. I don't like it um, at all. Anyway, you don't like egg in the first place. No, and they give me gas. If you if you give me eggs and spend any time with me. You are definitely going to know that it's sulfur gas. So anyways, that's TMI anyway. But anyway, on this guy's wall, he had two revolvers. Ooh. Yeah, two revolvers, and they were really weird looking revolvers. They were 22 long rifle, 22 long rifle revolvers, but they were eight shot revolvers. Because he took them down off the wall, and they were nickel plated. They were just beautiful guns. And, uh, but they had an eight shot, eight shot revolver, which most people know that usually a Derringer is gonna be four or five shots, a uh, revolver is gonna be six, six shots, but that was an eight shot. Yeah. It was really a quite unique the one. cylinder. Yeah, unique one. Huh? Unique, eight? Yeah, unique, it was unique. There were two of them, they were, and they had long barrels on them too. They were like, I would, I'm gonna say they were 10 inch barrels on them. And, uh, but they were neat. Well, those were my grandfather's. And this guy was old then. I mean, I bet he was in his 70s then. And, uh, yeah, interesting. Anyway, I think we're going to come up behind the storm. Yeah. I know Dad was saying the, the speed of this. Yeah. 